touch! All else will do, but please, no such. Foolish talking, foolish talking! No, Lisa, don't touch! Finally won the battle. I'm in your office. I didn't know we were having a battle. Oh, come on. Well, since you're here, you might as well be comfortable. Sit down. <laughs> Thanks. Have you had a chance to analyze my dream yet? No, I, you know, I couldn't do that without talking to you first. Typical psychiatrist dodge. Did you at least think about my dream? Yes, I thought about your dream. Well? Well, uh, you seem kind of angry uh, chopping off John's head like that. Of course I was angry at John. He's so stupid the way he handles Lisa sometimes. It's so unscientific. Yet yeah, he's one of the few people that Lisa trusts. She's beginning to trust me too, you know. I'm happy to hear that. What about the rest of my dream? The bathtub full of blood and heads, the clock execution machine. What do you think about it? Listen, Al. Don't play Dr. Freud with me. I'm onto the psychiatry junk, answering one question by asking another. Doesn't my dream prove I'm crazy? No, it doesn't. You're terribly afraid of death, aren't you? <coughs> aren't you? Now you're playing Dr. Freud. <coughs> Go on. Okay, then. Uh, I see you dream in two ways. Uh, first of all, you're sitting on a blade, cutting off the uh, heads of your enemies. So uh, you feel safe. Secondly, you're sitting on the blade as it moves, and thus you control life and death. David, I wish you'd stay. I know you, Doctor. David! David, look at me. Who do you see? Who do you see? It's Lisa I see, looking at me. David, here you are. Come with me far away. Not, not now, uh, not today, some, some other day, I say. Lisa, why must we rhyme? It's so hard to do, but it takes far too much time. Funny, David. Don't you see? Rhyming stops her, and she can't be. Well, 
that's it. You don't have to be Muriel when you rhyme. Of course. I... Lisa, come back. I'll rhyme. You'll see. I mean Muriel. Frankly, I prefer the name Lisa. <laughs> 